Good morning. Good morning. Hello from uh, what used to be called Sunny Honey. It's, uh, it is sunny, but it is cold today. We're on the cliffs at Hunstanton, and we're going to walk down the beach and show you old Hunstanton. Uh, just to really complete the Norfolk coastline at the cargo past for our series on um, what to do what in Norfolk. In Norfolk, yeah. And the first thing you see when you get out the car on the cliffs is this little view of the lighthouse through the archway here. This is the legend of St Edmund and the Wolf, hence the wolf carving just here. Um, Edmund was a, uh, a leader of the East Anglian people and unfortunately was beheaded by the uh, Danish Vikings at Thetford in 870. That was the end of him? That was the end of him. Now, the old lighthouse stopped operating in 1921. It's quite a significant location, this. They actually um, had a listening station here during the war. Um, I think you might say, why did they do away with the lighthouse? It's simply because they started to use lightships. And there's quite a few good examples of lightships, older lightships anyway, up and down the east coast that were used significantly. Uh, they thought they were more flexible. Uh, I'm not sure how successful that was, but, uh, but there is also quite a uh, a decent lifeboat station on the end of the, of the beach here which is quite and again another important resource because of its location but as I turn towards me you can see the lighthouse is there there's also a wreck on the beach at um, Hunstanton which has pretty much been well worn away but it's quite interesting it depends on the tide whether we get to see it or not today but it's quite uh, yeah it's uh, it's worth a walk we're walking up to another interesting building uh, at the head of where the car park is. And this is the old Coast Guard lookout. And where the Royal Observer post was in 1907. Now you can rent it for holidays. Uh, so that would be quite good. You get a really good view from the top, I yeah. <laughs> Advisable. Yeah, early booking advisable. And a dog friendly cafe. Dog friendly cafe with a car park. I think it's called closed at the minute. It is February. <laughs> yeah, we can't have everything, can we? But good views. Yeah, it's a good view over the beach. And I can see some kites. Kite surfers. So how's the training gone, H? Well, I have to say, not bad if I'm honest. Um, other than the one incident with the birds, which was a little bit of a nightmare, we did eventually get her to come back. I've seen plenty of kite surfers before, 
out at sea, but I've never actually seen them getting ready. Um, and it surprised me actually the amount of safety equipment that they've got, helmets, um, looks like they've got some body protection as well. Um, but the biggest surprise was the actual kites themselves. The sides of them are filled with air and it looks like they've been pumping an awning up. It's exactly the same sort of thing. So as they're about to go, I'm going to turn around and watch them and uh, see if this nice uh, westerly wind is good enough for them. We just had a wonderful couple of hours, haven't we? Oh, it's been great. The dogs absolutely loved it. She's, uh, it surprises actually. We've worked out that's the last piece of the North Norfolk Coastal Pathway. Just let the bus pass. The bus goes past, yeah. <laughs> uh, that we've walked. So putting that love affair with Norfolk, that's another thing yeah. ticked off. Yeah. Uh, we've had a wonderful day. So we'll put you through a five minute, six minute vlog. Hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, we'll speak to you in the next one. Martin out. Helen out. Standing there, you bravely live.